Polydissolve S2 is a dissolvable support material for PC, ABS and ASA based filaments from the Polymaker portfolio. S2 is specifically engineered to withstand the high heated chamber temperatures necessary for printing engineering materials. S2 also provides the perfect interface surface with these materials while also featuring good solubility in warm alkaline water. This allows you to print complex geometries, internal cavities, captive parts and all-in-one mechanisms in some of the toughest 3D printing materials available on the market. Polydissolve S2 can withstand printing in a chamber up to 110 degrees or can work just as well in an enclosed chamber or on an open bed printer. S2 is filling the gaps left behind from Polydissolve S1. This means that Polymaker now offer a dissolvable support material that can work with every filament in the Polymaker portfolio. To dissolve S2, you will need some additional equipment, including a water heater, a temperature controller, some pH paper, some tongs, and to expedite the dissolving process, a water pump or stirring device. However, this pump is not necessary to dissolve the support. Polydissolve S2 needs a heated alkaline water solution to properly dissolve. To create this solution, combine Polydissolve solute with regular tap water. The Polydissolve solute creates an alkaline pH level necessary to dissolve your printed support. The target pH level is 10.5. To achieve the correct ratio of solute to water, you will need to add 100 grams of Polydissolve solute to 4 litres of water. This will create a solution capable of dissolving 100 grams of polydissolve support. So it's best to work backwards from your support material when working out how much solution you need to create. For example, if you only have 25 grams of support to dissolve, then add 25 grams of polydissolve solute to one liter of water to make the correct solution. My slicing software tells me I have roughly 400 grams of printed support, which is split across these models. To create a solution that can dissolve 400 grams of printed support, I will need to add 400 grams of polydissolved solute to 16 liters of water. We highly recommend to always wear gloves and eye protection when handling the solute powder or when working with an alkaline solution. To prepare my setup, I will first add 16 liters of water to my tank, install my heater, temperature controller, thermistor, and set the temperature to 70 degrees. I've also printed this heat guard in Polymax PC to stop my prints from coming in contact with the heating element. I can then weigh 400 grams of polydissolved solute and add this to the water solution. This will turn the color of the solution milky, which is good for dissolving, but bad for making time lapses. Use the pH paper to check the alkalinity of your solution. The target is around 10.5 pH. Once the water reaches 70 degrees, you can submerge the parts in the solution for dissolving. This should take roughly two hours, with interface layers taking longer. A water pump can be added to the tank to speed up the whole process, and I've already installed mine. With the water temperature at 70 degrees, you will notice some evaporation as the solution concentrates. Keep your tank topped up with fresh water if the solution level drops too low. After the support has fully dissolved, you can remove the parts from the solution and rinse them well in cold water. You may notice some residual support slurry left on the surface and this can be simply rinsed off with cold water. When disposing the solution, check your local environmental rules and guidelines as the specifications for disposal will change across different regions. Polydissolve S2 provides a high temperature support material capable of withstanding heated chambers supporting high performance materials. Support materials enable 3D printing to achieve a higher degree of complexity, which cannot be achieved with other manufacturing techniques. Polydissolve S2 helps the workflow of your printed parts with a reliable, easy to print material delivering a high quality surface finish on engineering materials.